There are tons of abilities in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but it can be difficult to know which ones are the best, and more importantly, how you can find them. That's why I wanted to put together this simple guide showing you the 5 best abilities for melee weapons, and the 5 best abilities for bows. We'll go through the melee weapons abilities first, starting with Blinding Rush. This ability allows Eivor to run into battle undetected, even becoming invisible when directly in front of a group of enemies. And with the upgrade, you can assassinate multiple fools before they even see it coming. Better yet, if you didn't know, you can use the Blinding Rush ability to easily snag those pesky flying papers, so this is definitely one to have in your arsenal. You can find the two Books of Knowledge locations at the Ruined Tower in East Anglia, and the Chertsey Abbey Ruins in Sussex. Enjoy! Next up we have the Vengeance of Thor, which is my absolute bread and butter ability that I really enjoy using, as it affects every weapon you're using differently, giving you another form of melee attack from the usual light and heavy combo. With the Vengeance of Thor, you can concentrate all your strength into an unstoppable attack, and the longer you keep it prepared, the more powerful the attack will become. Once getting the second book of knowledge, you'll have even more power, perfect for using on large groups of enemies and bosses alike. You can find this ability located at Oxenforda in Oxenfordshire, and the Thieves' Warren also in Oxenfordshire. Moving on, we have the Fire Strike ability, which is fantastic for players wanting to deal like, extra damage whilst giving them a break from constant attacks. Initially, this allows weapons to set themselves on fire, which is relatively standard practice in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, as some weapons and runes can do this themselves. However, once you get that second book of knowledge, a ring of fire explodes directly from you, turning everyone in a 2 meter radius into that pizza you left in the oven 40 minutes ago. Got a large group of enemies running at you, this will instantly stop their attack and likely kill them in the process. This ability is also nice and simple to get, just obtain this from Hytham in Ravensthorpe after collecting a total of 11 medallions from assassinating those pesky Order of the Ancients. Easy. Next up, another great ability to interrupt any enemy attack is the Kick of Tear. This will put bosses on their backs and set Ava up for a free finishing blow, but even bosses that have tons of health can be killed in a single strike by simply sending them off an edge. If you've been sleeping on this one, it's definitely time to give it another go. You can find the Kick of Tear knowledge books at the Threaded Pass in Eurishire, and the Ulkathorpe Fort in Snottinghamshire. And finally, we come to the last melee ability, which is another personal favourite of mine, and arguably one of the most fun to use, Harpoon Impalement. This ability impales any enemy you choose with your harpoon, allowing you to throw them in any direction, whether that be off a cliff edge, or into other enemies dealing damage on whoever is hit. The upgrade though makes this one absolutely epic, allowing you to pull your enemy towards you for a massive neck chop. This is also my favourite kill animation in the entire game, and watching those heads roll as I spin around like a Russian ballet dancer is something I rarely get tired of. You'll find this ability in Venosis in Leicestershire, and the large city of Colchester in Essex. So now we are moving on to the bow abilities, starting with the most obvious choice, Focus of the Nornir. This ability allows you to slow down time releasing arrow after arrow, and I personally think this one works better with your light and hunter bows, as you can release more arrows in quick succession. The upgrade on Focus of the Nornir increases your damage after each enemy killed as well, so if you save the bigger guys towards the end of the ability, they'll be even weaker than if you started hitting them first. Primarily though, this is your number one ability when fighting any form of boss and is in my opinion, likely the strongest ability in the entire game. You'll find the two Books of Knowledge located in Offchurch in Leicestershire and Bolingbrock in Lincolnshire, meaning you can get this ability pretty early on as we're not too far from Ravensthorpe. Next up we have the Incendiary Powder Trap ability, which much like the focus of the Nornir is an ability you can't really do without. This ability, as expected, attaches something like a pouch of gunpowder to your arrow, dealing terrific damage and setting enemies on fire. It can also be used as a sort of proximity mine, and when you get the upgrade allowing you a second explosive pouch, you'll find all of these small arrow grenades absolutely littered about your foes, basically giving them nowhere to escape. More importantly though, it allows you to smash through those infamous breakable walls, saving you precious time and potentially frustration in finding those darn red jars. You'll find the two locations at Walden in Grantbridgeshire and Brigworth in Sussex. Another fantastic bow ability is the Mark of Death. 
This ability allows Eivor a few seconds to target enemies near and far, and once the timer ends, sends a massive volley of arrows that instantly kills almost anyone Eivor has marked. The upgrade allows you to target even more enemies, another great ability for tackling big groups, but you can also focus every arrow on large enemies as well, wiping out grunts and captains with the utmost ease. You'll find these books of knowledge in Meldburn in Grantbridgeshire and Alcredstad in Haldafyk in Norway. It's worth mentioning that you can't actually get to Haldafyk until right towards the end of the storyline after conquering every region in England, so enjoy the grind. Following on, we have Piercing Shot, and this one really does defy the laws of nature. This allows you to send arrows through nearly any obstacle, defeating your enemies with them having no idea where you're shooting from. The upgrade will then multiply damage for each enemy you're shooting through as well, again making wiping out large groups of enemies an easy task. Head to Lincoln in Lincolnshire and the Temple Brathall in Leicestershire to grab these books of knowledge. And finally, we come to the Plague of Rats ability. If you're wondering about purchasing any of the Valhalla DLCs, if you enjoy the base game, I'd say do it. Not only do you get a fair amount of new content to play, but you also get some cracking abilities, armor sets, and weapons too. The Plague of Rats ability is part of the Siege of Paris DLC, which I'll leave a link from my review at the end of this video, and you'll be able to summon rats from the undergrowth to attack your enemies, which is not only useful as a distracting technique, but will deal a nice bit of damage too. The books of knowledge for the Plague of Rats ability are found in the Jizzacum ruins in Everson and the Plague District in Paris. Did I say that right? Jizzacum? After almost 400 hours on Valhalla and a bit of research, I think I've narrowed it down to the best abilities. But if there's an ability you think others will find super useful, then let me know down in the comments. I will see you Vikings in the next one.